Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I was going to do a video on my latest Auto World vehicles. I am missing a few critical pieces still that are en route in the mail. One of those cars that I'm waiting for is the gray version of the Challenger which I'd like to have for the review. And there's a few other vehicles as well but be assured in that video this truck will be getting opened up out of its packaging for a full review as well as the custom lowrider cars. So stay tuned for more Auto World coming up after this green light video. I've got a lot of green light vehicles here to look at from multiple different series, starting with HD Trucks Series 18. Yes, I know nothing here brand new, but uh, I'm just going to rip it right out of the package and we're going to get it right out on the table for a roll. I've got one truck from Series 19, same deal. Pretty cool truck though, I didn't get any of the other ones in that series. And then I do have a full set of the Hollywood Series 29. Had some really cool pieces in. These are still available in your stores if you're looking for them at the time of filming. November 2020. And uh, the Brady Bunch car. Awesome. Brand new casting for Greenlight at the time. So we're going to get everything out onto the table. And a few of my favorites from the Hobby Shop Series 9. These again, not brand new at this time, but very cool models. So if you've missed them. You might want to grab these while they're still hanging out in your local hobby shops. Let's just get cracking here. First one coming out is this 2020 Ford Explorer ST. Uh, there's the packaging. Got the full list of vehicles on there if you're interested in any of them. Uh, I've got half of them here. And the other half I don't have here. This one comes with two sets of wheels. And uh, that's a really cool piece. Definitely worth a closer look at this model. It's very nice. I like that it's a civilian type vehicle as well. This is often going to be a police vehicle or something marked up with some company logos of some kind. So I don't, I'm not going to bother changing the wheels, but that's kind of cool that those exist. Spare parts. And we've got the 81 classic Chevrolet with woman in dress now this is a pretty cool model definitely one of my favorites and again being a non-police non-taxi car is going to be unique for this it's only been released once before as such in a burgundy color two-tone burgundy and I'm not sure if that was in the vintage ad series or not I think it was Either way, get that little woman in dress out to admire the car. Next one is going to be the 92 Ford Crown Victoria LX with man in suit. Beautiful model. I'm not going to repeat myself for the third time why. Probably figured it out. And this model does have an opening hood. As you can see, the uh, fit is quite precise, though. So sometimes that can be difficult. But look at that window. What happened? Well, seeing that it's got a big scratch, maybe I will. Ah, that was easy. There's a really nicely rendered engine detail. And just an unfortunate scratch, which I may try to buff out. I'm sure with some Meguiar's and a little cloth or something, I can... Buff that out. It's not the end of the world. It is a hobby after all. There's the man in the suit. He's looking at his window going, what the heck did you do to it, lady? Why? <laughs> Next one. We're going to just zip right through these Hollywood cars. Mod Squad. Nothing really different on the back. Just some artwork. Uh, there's no limited numbers printed on these. But uh, that's, I think that's normal, actually. So here is going to be a really nice 70 Plymouth GTX with opening hood. This is an older casting. But it's been modified with these newer wheels that have a spacer to allow them not to just bounce back and forth on the chassis. Unless I'm mistaken, I think I remember this car having really wide tires in its inception years prior to 2010 or so. Not really sure when that casting was released exactly, but it has been around for a while. 
And the next one we're looking at is the U.S. Mail Long Life Postal Delivery Vehicle from Cheers, apparently. Now, I will admit, I didn't watch much Cheers. Really just if I was walking through a room and it was on the television. So I am aware of Cheers. But I don't remember seeing a postal van in Cheers. I only remember seeing a bar. Nonetheless, this is a very cool piece. I do believe it has an opening door. But I could be mistaken. I don't know. It looks good as it is. No need to wreck it with the hobby knife. Good little detailed truck. Check out all the rivets on it. Really one of my favorite castings. And uh, Great, great scale. That's one of the terrific things about Greenlight and Auto World and M2 is the scale of these vehicles is all appropriate. To one another so makes sense makes sense on a diorama or in a display for me anyways we've got the 1979 ford limited country squire there's really nothing else going on in the charlie's angels packaging so we'll take a closer look at this wicked car another terrific casting uh, no opening parts uh, well no it has a drop down tailgate that's right i was looking at the hood thinking the opening hood but uh-oh. Come on. Ugh. I only got one of these cars. I don't want to break the tailgate. Okay, well, normally the tailgates work. This one doesn't work. That's a first. Beautiful car, though. Nice, clear windows. No gluey fingerprints. That's wonderful news. Really looks good. It's actually very nicely detailed. And, uh, like I said, one of my favorite models is Big four-door station wagons from the mid-80s, especially. Seeing that I grew up uh, being toted around in one, backwards-facing seats, I do have fond memories of large station wagons. Here we have a 69 Plymouth Satellite. Oh, I just about lost the tire. Station wagon. And this one, apparently, from the Brady Bunch. This is a show I did not watch. More than a hunch, The Brady Bunch, one of the most popular and influential family sitcoms of all time. Before my time, slightly. This one also has the drop-down tailgate feature. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess maybe that's that's the drop-down feature right there. <laughs> this car suffered a little bit of rust. I like it just like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. <laughs> it's going straight into the diorama. Here we go. Into the junkyard. Clunk. Okay, back to the show here. We've got the other station wagon. I did buy two of this car because I obviously just fell in love with it at first sight. Check it out. What a great little casting. Terrific details. It'll be nice to see one without the roof racks on it, though. I do like the roof rack options, but uh, it leaves some holes in the top for customizing. That's not really totally desirable. This one does have a hitch on it as well, so you can pull the trailers from your Hitch and Toe series collections. And uh, nice tires. You've got white walls on the inside. I've spun the tires around on this one so that the black walls face out. From the, uh, as we saw it coming out of the package, it had the white walls facing out. And the next vehicle, these are all pretty good rollers too. The next vehicle we're going to open up is from the Terminator to Judgment Day. Um, 87 Chevrolet Caprice. Now this is one of my favorite movies growing up. To be sure, so if you haven't watched Terminator before... Well, there's many inceptions of it now, so it's probably unlikely that you're unaware of Terminator. Whether you like it or not, that's uh, that could be different. But here, we have a very nice casting. And uh, it's a movie car. So it looks good. Pretty simple uh, designs on it. Really not much. Just the old black and white theme. Yet another Checker Taxi. This one's a 1974. I just opened up three of these yesterday. 
Series 29, of course. And Robert De Niro, I believe. Taxi, or am I got the wrong one? Taxi movie or taxi something else? Didn't do my research. Apologies. Let's check out the details on this car, though. Very nice. As I've said before, this is one of my favorite castings from Greenlight, and it's a new one, newer one. A little more than a year old, I think, if that. But they, a lot of these yellow checker taxis look very much alike from five feet away on my shelf. It's, uh, it's all about the little differences, though, in collecting. Now, here we have the most recent from the HD trucks that have entered my collection. That is the Series 19. The other trucks in this fleet are pictured on the back. I chose not to buy them as they are getting up there in price, I find, and I don't have the space, honestly, to store these. They don't really go anywhere except on shelves and in drawers and boxes and book tops and that sort of thing. So I kind of pile them up where I can, and uh, most of them are still out on display, but it's a real juggling act <laughs> when the collection grows to this size. But uh, this is a really nice piece. Great quality, great value for the dollar on this. They're, they're really not a terrible deal at all. And uh, plastic base, of course, but this one has the opening doors on the back. Um, they're a bit of a bit of a nuisance. I've already played around with the uh, police version from season 18, which we're going to open next, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't have much success. Once I opened the doors, getting them kind of lined up was a bit difficult. So we'll leave it at that for those doors. This will be the second police van I've opened up from Series 18, which I have the whole series here, so I'm not going to bother showing the back. Because you're going to see all three trucks right here, if you like. And the NYPD version of this van was required as I have quite a large NYPD um, force of vehicles and I really can't be missing any. So here again we've got the doors. This one has a little piece of tape holding it on. And those doors actually really function quite well. Let's see if we can zoom in, look right down inside the van. Too dark to really see anything. But, oh, there we go. That's kind of what happens once you open the doors. They just they kind of move around in the tracks. You really got to time your closing of the doors just perfectly. No big deal. It's just a nice little extra touch that Greenlight tried to put on this van. And it works out fairly well as long as your expectations are that you may have a little bit of time invested in reclosing the doors. They roll terrifically. Quite a bit of weight to them. Harmful play to the toys. Still got two vehicles left. Now this is a nice set. 67 Chevy C30 ramp truck. And 67 Chevrolet Camaro. Once again, more golf livery. This one comes with the ramps. All taped on it. Where did my truck go? There it is. Really cool piece. Ramps obviously clipped to the back. Overall, this is this is the uh, the set and a really nice Camaro. So if you're collecting the Golf livery, obviously you're going to want to have this little matchup for your uh, display because it's a nice one. Chevy with a Chevy number six. Vroom, vroom. Okay, last truck. The peg warmer at my local hobby shop. International Juristar box van. The heaviest piece of all of them. And sorry if that was out of focus. This one does have some very nice functioning doors on the back. And a, quite a detailed inside of the box. 
This is just a great model. The box is die cast, which is absolutely unheard of, it seems, at the price point. But Greenlight is able to pull it off, and that is why I keep buying box trucks. Plastic chassis, die cast, everything else, pretty much. And for a lot of companies that have these trucks in yellow, this would be a fun model to throw some stickers on the side and good little company company giveaway item for the employees that were good. Good drivers. Not like this driver. <laughs> oh, that's right. It has a ramp. A ramp that comes out. So that your little man in suit can... Uh, can go up the ramp and see what's going on in there. All right, well, that's the uh, that's the die cast review for today. Stick around, much more coming soon. If you're after any of this, happy hunting, guys.